In the electrical distribution networks, there are essential components that play a crucial role in maintaining the safety and reliability of the system. Two such components are auto losers and circuit breakers. These devices are designed to interrupt electrical faults and protect the network from potential damage. While both serve a similar purpose, they differ in terms of functionality as this video delves into the world of auto rec losers and circuit breakers, exploring their functions, differences, advantages, and disadvantages. By understanding their distinct characteristics, it becomes easier to make informed decisions about which device is best suited for specific electrical distribution network requirements. Auto rec losers and circuit breakers are vital elements in electrical distribution networks ensuring the stability and efficiency of power transmission. Understanding the distinctions between these devices is crucial for engineers, technicians, and operators responsible for maintaining and managing electrical systems. By comprehending the differences in operation, response time, fault interruption, and cost, professionals can make informed decisions on the most suitable device to deploy in specific network scenarios. An electrical distribution network is a complex system of power lines, transformers, switches, and other equipment that carries electricity from the transmission system to homes, businesses, and other end users. It consists of distribution substations, which step down the voltage to a usable level, and a network of overhead or underground lines that deliver power to individual customers. The primary role of an electrical distribution network is to ensure the safe and efficient delivery of electricity to consumers. It provides the infrastructure necessary for power distribution, allowing households, industries, and commercial establishments to access reliable electricity for their everyday needs. To maintain the integrity of the network, protective devices like auto reclusers and circuit breakers are used. An automatic rec loser is a device used to automatically restore power to a distribution line after a temporary outage. It is designed to automatically detect faults and interrupt the flow of power. Once the fault is cleared, the rec loser automatically turns back on and restores power. Even if the fault still exists, the auto rec loser is locked out to protect the system. This feature helps maintain the stability and reliability of distribution systems by quickly restoring power after temporary failures without human intervention. There are various types of auto rec losers available, each with its own set of features and capabilities. Some common types include single phase rec losers, three phase rec losers, and electronically controlled rec losers. These devices employ different technologies to detect faults and determine the appropriate response, ensuring that the network operates safely and efficiently. Auto rec losers find extensive use in electrical distribution networks, particularly in areas prone to frequent faults, such as overhead lines exposed to weather conditions or areas with heavy vegetation. They are also employed in remote or hard-to-reach locations where manual intervention may be time-consuming or costly. By automatically restoring power, these devices help minimize customer inconvenience and reduce outage durations. A circuit breaker is a device that interrupts the flow of electricity when an electrical fault is detected. This feature helps prevent equipment damage, fires, and other dangerous situations caused by electrical failures. Circuit breakers require human intervention to reset them after a fault has occurred and trip them. Circuit breakers are typically used to protect against overloads, short circuits, and ground faults and are available in low, medium, and high voltage types. There is a wide range of circuit breakers available, each designed for specific applications and operating conditions. Common types include thermal magnetic circuit breakers, residual current circuit breakers, RCCBs, and vacuum circuit breakers. These devices utilize different technologies to detect faults and provide reliable protection against electrical hazards. Circuit breakers are employed in various electrical systems, ranging from residential installations to industrial plants. They are commonly found in distribution panels, switchboards, and electrical equipment, where they ensure the safety and integrity of the system. Circuit breakers are essential for protecting electrical circuits and preventing damage to equipment, wiring, 
and appliances in the event of faults or overloads. By understanding the differences and applications of auto reclusers and circuit breakers, we can appreciate the vital role they play in maintaining the reliability and safety of electrical distribution networks. Whether it's restoring power after a temporary fault or preventing electrical disasters, these devices are the unsung heroes of our modern power systems. Auto reclusers and circuit breakers may both play a crucial role in electrical distribution networks, but their operating principles are fundamentally different. Circuit breakers are designed to interrupt the flow of electric current when a fault is detected, providing immediate and complete disconnection. On the other hand, auto reclusers are capable of automatically re-establishing the power supply after a temporary fault by attempting to close the circuit multiple times. Think of circuit breakers as the tough love type that cuts off power to protect the system, while auto reclusers are more like the forgiving friend who gives second chances. When it comes to response time, circuit breakers are the sprinters of the electrical distribution network. They can detect faults in a flash and swiftly interrupt the flow of electricity, minimizing potential damage. Auto reclusers, on the other hand, have a slightly slower response time as they need to analyze the fault and make a decision on whether to attempt reclusing. While circuit breakers are more accurate in immediately isolating and protecting against faults, auto reclusers offer the advantage of automated attempts to restore power without human intervention. When faced with a fault, circuit breakers take a firm stance and completely interrupt the flow of electricity, ensuring that the fault is isolated and the system is protected. Auto reclusers, however, take a more flexible approach. They attempt to interrupt the fault by opening the circuit, but then make multiple attempts to re-establish the power supply. This can be advantageous in situations where the fault is temporary or transient allowing for a quick restoration of power without the need for manual intervention. Auto reclusers and circuit breakers also differ in terms of cost and maintenance requirements. Circuit breakers are typically more expensive upfront due to their intricate design and high-quality components. However, they generally require less frequent maintenance and can have a longer lifespan. Auto reclusers, while generally more affordable, may need more regular maintenance due to their mechanical and electrical components. So while circuit breakers may hit your wallet harder at the start, they can be a more cost-effective choice in the long run. Auto reclusers have some nifty advantages up their sleeves. First and foremost, they can automatically restore power after temporary faults, reducing the duration of outages and minimizing disruptions for consumers. They also save time and effort by eliminating the need for manual intervention to restore power. Auto reclusers can be particularly useful in areas with frequent temporary faults, such as regions with overhead power lines. However, auto reclusers do come with a few drawbacks. Their repeated attempts to restore power can lead to momentary interruptions known as nuisance trips, which can be annoying for consumers. Additionally, if the fault persists, the auto recluser may engage in a repetitive cycle of opening and closing, resulting in further damage to the system or equipment. It's also worth noting that auto reclusers are not as effective in situations where faults are sustained or permanent, as they will keep attempting to restore power without success. Circuit breakers have their own set of advantages. Their rapid response time and accurate fault interruption make them ideal for situations where immediate disconnection is essential to protect the distribution network. Circuit breakers are also highly reliable and can handle sustained or permanent faults more effectively than auto reclusers. They provide a strong and consistent defense against electrical faults and have a longer lifespan compared to auto reclusers. However, circuit breakers are not without their disadvantages. Unlike auto reclusers, they require manual intervention to restore power after a fault, which can be time-consuming and cause longer durations of outages. Circuit breakers also have a higher initial cost due to their more advanced design and components. Additionally, their immediate interruption of faults may lead to more frequent power disruptions for consumers in areas prone to temporary faults. Upon careful examination, it is evident that auto reclusers and circuit breakers have their unique characteristics and applications within electrical distribution networks. 
While AutoRec losers offer quick fault detection and automatic restoration capabilities, circuit breakers provide more precise fault interruption and higher accuracy. The choice between these devices depends on specific network requirements, cost considerations, and maintenance factors. By understanding the differences between auto rec losers and circuit breakers, professionals can make informed decisions to optimize the reliability and efficiency of electrical distribution systems, ensuring uninterrupted power supply and enhanced network performance.